Good morning. It's Monday, September 19th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When God Speaks and Humans Find It Difficult to Listen. And our scripture is Jeremiah's Prophecy, Chapter 9. This is what the Lord says, Don't let the wise boast in their wisdom, or the powerful boast in their power, or the rich boast in their riches. But those who wish to boast should boast in this alone, that they truly know me and understand that I am the Lord who demonstrates unfailing love and who brings justice and righteousness to the earth, and that I delight in these things. I, the Lord, have spoken. A time is coming, says the Lord, when I will punish all those who are circumcised in body but not spirit, the Egyptians, Edomites, Ammonites, Moabites, the people who live in the desert and remote places, and yes, even the people of Judah. And like all these pagan nations, the people of Israel also have uncircumcised hearts. Our grandson, Christopher, is getting alarmingly close to 30. He serves in the Air Force, stationed nearly 7,000 miles from home. He's a big guy, over six feet, with a big heart and a ready wit. As with most parents and grandparents, I tend to think of him as a young boy riding bicycles full of giggles and goofiness. I have this one scene embedded in my brain from his childhood and replayed almost every time we talk, where he does his best Robert De Niro imitation. He turns to look at me, and he intones in a very New York taxi driver persona, You talking to me? God gave a message to Jeremiah that would not have placed him on the top ten favorite people list in Jerusalem or anywhere in our current culture. Whenever God begins a sentence with, there's a time coming, eye rolls and choruses of not this again fill the room. I can just see the words rolling off Jeremiah's lips on the steps of Jerusalem's crumbling temple as he warns all the religious leaders and the crowd assembled for worship. Oh, they're right with him when he talks about punishment for Egypt and Ammonites and Moabites. Oh, yeah, God, put the hot irons to those heathen barbarians. But then Jeremiah quits preaching and goes to meddling. He faces the crowd. He squints a little like Clint Eastwood's Dirty Harry character, and he says, uh, yep, even the people of Judah. And wide-eyed, furious, the people yell, you talking to me? Jeremiah, still squinting ominously, says, Yep, even you, Jerusalem highbrows, have uncircumcised hearts. Circumcision was a ritual with which they were quite familiar, a telltale physical sign that they'd been born into the right family. Well, Jerusalem's elite imagined themselves as somewhat grandfathered in when it came to being spiritually correct and therefore accepted by God. Jeremiah warned them of physical mark and all the rituals in the world didn't get you any gold stars from heaven unless a softened, obedient, generous, gracious heart made your walk line up with all your talk. The problem with an uncircumcised heart is spiritual blindness, and that's a hallmark of 21st century culture. In today's live-and-let-me-do-my-thing world, I may tolerate your racist, gender-insensitive non-wokeness as long as you stay out of my face with it. But when you start talking about how I might be included in your God's torture parade, you better not be talking to me. The residents of Jerusalem disliked what the prophet said, and it eventually landed him in prison. The downturn of events for Jeremiah was painful for him, but the day is most certainly coming when God will balance those scales. For you today, one question the church never has to ask of God is, Are you talking to us? Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.